Hello, in this video we'll continue with the quick start tutorial and add a player to the scene. Let's get started by saving this scene as a new scene. So go to File, Save As, Navigate to Scenes and save the scene as adding player. We don't need the camera, so let's delete it. Then navigate to third person controller prefabs and drag and drop the player to the scene and also the camera. Make sure that your player has a tag player and the camera has the tag main camera and add the physics raycaster component to the camera. Then I'm going to select the default state on the camera and add a turn button fire one so I can rotate the camera with the left mouse button. Then I'm going to select the default avatar our player and remove the attack motion because we use already this input name so let's just delete it then select the item set the use distance to 1 and you should save this item um, or override the prefab because when you drop this item then the use distance will be set again to minus one because it drops the prefab from the project and as you can see the prefab has the use distance minus one I'm not going to save it as prefab because uh, we have two scenes uh, one with player one without so I'm going to just leave it as it is right now Let's hit save. Now when we select the sword, we have two fields here, so in range and in use. And if the player gets closer to the sword, um, the in range field gets enabled and we can pick up the sword. And if he is out of range, we can't uh, pick up it. And you get a message, this is too far away, so let's get closer open the inventory and hit on the sword and you see as you can see the sword is added to our inventory and when we drop it now the sword has the use distance minus one as I said because it uses this prefab 